Hello guys, today I'm going to share with you how you can edit your videos on your phone for free. Um, this video is in collaboration with Movavi. They asked me to try out their MOA app called Movavi Clips Video Editor. And I'm going to share with you guys how you can edit your videos on your phone. Uh, I'm going to share with you a tutorial uh, with Movavi Clips and also give a review about the app um, at the end of this video. Um, so yeah, this app is totally free, it's both for iPhone and for Android users, so you can download it from the App Store or from Google Play. Um, I will make sure to link the app in the description box below so you can check it out. Make sure to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and find it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more of these tutorials. I've got a whole series with video editing tutorials on my channel uh, called the YouTube 101 Guide. So if you're interested, then go check out the playlist. It's also in the description box below. And yeah, without further ado, let's just get started. Um, okay, so I've got my phone here and I'm going to record my screen on my phone here and create a tutorial. So let's just get started. Okay, so this is what the app looks like, Movavi Clips. So if you click here, tap to make a new video, you can add your files from your phone. You can add videos or you can add photos. So I'm going to add some videos. Um, it asks you to, uh, what kind of videos do you need? Uh, so if you're creating a video for YouTube, then you want to take uh, a standard widescreen video for any device. So 16 by 9 is the ratio, so I'm going for that one. Now you can pick out some videos from your camera roll. Um, I think I'm going to use my footage from, uh, I took with my drone when I was in Australia. And then click on start editing once you've selected your clips. And of course you can always add more videos or photos uh, while you're editing. So this is what it looks like. Here you've got your timeline with all your videos um, or photos. And um, what I always like to do first is cut things out, which I don't need because obviously these clips are quite long and I want to kind of shorten them and pick out the parts that I want to keep in my videos. So you can easily do this. As you can see, there is a scissors button which you can use um, to cut out the parts that you don't want to use. So for this tutorial, I'm not going to create a whole video. I'm just going to show you what you can do with this app. Uh, so I'll just randomly cut out some parts. So for example, when I uh, want to split a video, then I click on the scissors button. Let's see. For example, until here, I want to keep my uh, keep that part in or I want to cut it out, but I'm going to click on the scissors button. And for example, I don't want to use this clip anymore. Then I can just um, drag it down and then it will be erased from the timeline. And you can also rearrange your videos by just pressing on them and as you can see you can move those clips and arrange them in the order you would like to have them. If you want to add a transition to your clip this is also what you can do. So um, here you can see there are a bunch of options in Movavi clips which you can use for editing and so you can add a transition between these clips. So you can go to transitions and there are a bunch of options you can choose from. Crossfade, fade out, fade in, gradient and so on and I think it's great because you can choose those transitions, it's really easy and you can pick out the one that you want to use for that clip. So I'm going to choose crossfade for the transition between these two clips. So um, let's play that. And I think that looks really nice. What you can also do is rotate your clips. So for example, first I'm going to um, split one clip up into uh, different parts so I, because I only want to rotate that specific part. I'm going to use the scissors button again and then for example until here. And then I maybe want to rotate this part of the video. So you're going to go to the menu and you can see there is the rotate option. So click on rotate. And as you can see, the video has rotated. And then this is the result. Movavi Clips also offers you to speed up or slow down your videos, which is great if you want to add some slow motion or you want to speed up your clip. Um, 
I'm going to be using this first clip um, to speed up my clip a little bit. Um, I'm going to split it up first. So I want to have the beginning just a regular speed and then the second half of this clip I want to have it a bit of a little bit of speed it up. So I'm going to click on the scissors button. Then this clip is um, split up and then I select this clip and you go to the menu again and you can choose the option speed and then you can add, you can speed it up, you can accelerate your video or you can add some slow motion if you drag it to the left. Um, as you can see it also says ultra slow, very slow or when you go to the right it says fast. Um, so you can just you can also watch a preview of that, which is very handy. I'm just going for fast. And then this way I speeded up my clip. If you want to add music to your video, of course you can do that in this editing app as well. Uh, you can choose from the Movavi music library or you can um, add your own music from your library. So that is how you do it. You can click on the audio button and then click on Add music. So I don't have any music on my phone or in iTunes library, but if you do, then you can select your, you can select the music from your iTunes library which you want to use for your video. But it also offers different kind of categories, which is great. So um, maybe from adventure, there are different options of songs, travel, action, family, success, motivation. And as you can see, there are a bunch of categories and I think it's great that Movavi offers you um, different kind of songs. Um, so I'm going to pick out a travel song. Okay, so once you've chosen your song, you can click on select and it starts to download your song. And then it will automatically add your uh, song to the timeline. And of course, you can also adjust the music volume or the volume of your video. Um, but my video doesn't have any volume because I took it with my drone and it doesn't record any sound. Uh, but if you want to change the volume of your video, uh, then go to audio again where you also chose your music. And then you can click on volume and you can change the, uh, the balance between the built-in audio of your video and also the music. Movavi also offers you to add text which is of course very essential if you're creating a video. Um, so what you do you click on text and then you can type your text, add text. I'm going to type um, Australia and then you can choose from a bunch of different fonts which is great. Uh, you can also select whether you would like to have the text um, for the whole video or only one specific part. Uh, I'm just only using it for a specific part, but if you'd like to add text, for example, maybe uh, a logo or watermark text, you can apply it to the entire video. You can also select a text position um, over here. I'm just keeping it the center. And then you can choose the color of the text, but I would like to have it on white, so I'm keeping it just like this. And then the text is added to my video. You can also add a bit of color correction to your video. In Mavavi Clips, um, it's quite limited, but it does have some essential things. Uh, so go to color, and then as you can see, you can change the brightness of your video, and you can also change the saturation. Uh, you can't really do more than that with colors, but I think changing the brightness and the saturation is also already a little bit of color correction. Um, so if you'd like to make it brighter, then just bring it up to the right. If you want to change the saturation of your video, you want to add a bit more color, uh, then go to the right to, uh, to make the video more saturated, or bring it down to the left if you want to make it less saturated. Another fun thing which you can do in this app is add some stickers. So go to stickers and then it offers you um, some, a bunch of different stickers. Some are free, some are paid. Uh, you can just kind of look through this, uh, which is quite fun if you want to add some stickers to your videos. Um, so let's see if we've got some free stickers. So these stickers are free. Um, maybe if you're creating a birthday video or something like that, you can add this cake. doesn't really go <laughs> with this specific video, but yeah, it's nice that you can add some stickers. And if you're happy with the result of your video, you can save it. Um, so you can go to the button here in the top corner on the right. 
and you can see a preview again of your video and then save it and then the video will be saved to your gallery and then this is the result of the quick video that I created with Movavi clips So now I'm going to give you a quick review about this app. Um, I personally think that it's really handy. I think it's great if you quickly want to create a nice video on your phone. It doesn't offer a lot of different options uh, like a professional editing software. But of course, uh, first off, this editing app is free. And secondly, it's also on your phone. So you usually don't do a lot of editing on your phone. So I think it's great for a free app on your phone. Um, it just offers the right things that you need. You can cut your clips, you can add transitions, you can change the speed, uh, you can do a bit of color correction, you can add text, add music from the library from Mavavi. Um, and yeah, I think those things are really handy. So it's a very simple app. If you don't have any experience with video editing, then you can easily create a nice video, maybe from your holiday on your phone, and you can add all those clips nicely together in Movavi clips to create a great video. The app does give you a watermark on your file, but um, let's check, it's only $1.99 a month or $4.99 a year, which is, I think, not a lot for a free video editing app. Um, $4.99 for only one year, you would spend it maybe on like lunch or something, not even, just on this nice <laughs> a yummy sandwich. Um, so yeah, it's just free and the watermark, if you want to remove that, then it's just not expensive at all. So I think that this app is great for beginners. If you're very professional uh, and you want to create really professional videos, then this video editing app might not be something for you. But if you just quickly want to create a nice video, then I think this app is very handy. And that is how you can edit videos on your phone for free. Um, I hope that this video was helpful for you and you got a bit of inspiration. Make sure to leave a like, a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Um, if you've got any more video requests for my YouTube 101 guide series, then let me know in the comment section down below. And thank you so much for watching. I see you guys next time in a new video. Bye!